Right, so, you've got this little bag that's... <laughs> Proper cheap little bag, look, the zip's broken straight away. Alright folks, how's it going? How do you like my new little film set I've made on my jet wash bay under the watchtower? Alright, isn't it? So, we've had some more products arrive and we've got some big sponsorship news. First of all, I'll start with the little stuff. See in here? This is CBD Mountain. So, uh, these guys sent us some stuff and I've had the balm which you rub on any sort of achy sore bits. Oh, like I've been using it on my knee, I've been using it on my dodgy ankle, and that seems to work overnight, it seems to relieve the pain, and then also um, there's the drips, you know, the drops that you put onto your tongue, and twice a day, and it really has helped in relieving A, a bit of anxiety I get now and then. I don't seem to have had that once since I started taking it. I know some people could say it's placebo, but I've come off it for a bit as well to see, and it did start coming back. So I reckon it works. And also, obviously that helps with the aches and pains as well. That's the whole thing about CBD. So these guys have jumped on board, CBD Mountain, and decided to be a sponsor, get involved with us at some stage. Alex, the guy behind this, will be meeting up with us and doing an interview all about it. But currently, he's a rider as well, and he's a bit mullered. He's bro I think he broke his femur or his hip. He's, he's proper injured. Uh, and we'll get him in to chat to you about bits and pieces to do with CBD. So he sent us more of this stuff. So this is the 1000 milligram cannabidiol oil, um, basically, little pipette and there it is and you put about a quarter of it on your tongue like that and this stuff is peppermint so it doesn't taste minging like a lot of it and then these i haven't tried these yet these are soft gels so these are actually a tablet so you can i mean i'm going to keep these in the car if i ever think you know oh god i've forgotten my forgotten my oil these are there like my emergency ones so that's the cbd oil Let's move on to the next product. I've actually, believe it or not, spent some money. So cleaning bikes at races, at dues, wherever, especially if you've got a car. I mean, it's not so bad for me in a van because you can put a crappy bike in the back and it's not going to get everything crappy. But if you've got a roof rack especially or putting your bike into the car, when these things are dirty, it's a nightmare. So... I put it out there on social media, what's the best sort of bike wash, you know, these all in one. And I had all the various different ones. Uh, it seemed like the Works was the one out of all of them that everyone was saying was the best. But these things were quite pricey. And then a few people mentioned this. Right, I'll show you what I got. I bought this off eBay. I'll tell you the price at the end because you're not gonna believe it. Right, so, you got this little bag that's <laughs> proper cheap little bag look the zip's broken straight away so I'm pretty sure this is like a Chinesey thing but the bag doesn't really matter when you know how much this cost you have a hose pipe like the little hose pipe connectors that's super long don't know how long it is but it's long you have a pump this pump here get it out that connects into your cigarette lighter I'm guessing you could make some sort of thing board for it to sit on with it having these like little things here that you can put screw stuff into but anyway so that's your pump that uh, I'm guessing you'll fit some sort of connector on for to go onto that tube really then you have um, that must be the connector this is the first time I've looked at this it's been sat at home for two weeks that's some sort of connector, uh, another kind of connector with the trigger, and a little sort of jet washy. This is a, this has got 100, 100 watts of power, which to be honest is a lot more than most of these like all-in-one compact things. 
So that's, that actually feels really solid and decent. There's a decent end on it and proper like brass fittings, which is amazing when you hear the price. Little brush, screwing brush. Uh, another connector, oh, that'll be the one that screws onto the pump and then the pipe goes onto it. Bit more tube, don't know what that's for. That's, pro uh, that's the tube to go into your um, if you've got a tub with you, you have to buy a tank, a tub, but you can get, you know, obviously 25 litre tubs, which would be perfect. Uh, I've got one over there, which I will use. So all that, how much do you think? Well, I'll tell you, 17 quid. Yeah, 17 quid. My mate said he's been running one of these for a year and it's still going strong. And he said he bought it thinking it would last like a few months and he'd just buy another one. So... I should be testing that out as soon as we go to a, a race or a ride where the bikes get crappy. Let's see, eh? Next up, we have tyres. Now, Senior Sunning, Sunning, Sunny, Sunnington will be trying these out for us. We have two here after the bike show at the NEC, which uh, you will see uh, the edit for that will be coming up after this. I'm going to interrupt my four impending edits with this edit. So these are from Hutchinson. We've got a Griffiths. They're both Griffiths, actually, I think. Let me look. Yeah. Griffiths Racing Lab. Uh, Gravity Tubeless Look Ready. They are. Are they different? Oh, no, it's a set. They're the same by the looks of things. So these are 29 2.5s. Oh, and we've got a 29 2.4. So the 2.4 is obviously for the rear uh, yeah they are slightly different the 2.5 is 1080 grams and this one's 1030 grams both 66 TPI um, so yeah obviously one's for the front one's for the rear these things look and feel decent I was looking at them at the bike show so we will get those on Sonny's bike he's gonna test these on his hardtail at the weekend at the Southern Enduro and see if he likes them and we shall be talking about that during that vlog. So that's them out of the way. I'm just going to get changed. Actually, I'll put it over the top, shall I? So, here it is. Finally, we have race top. So we've got two different types here. And I did like a thing, um, put it on the media, like a poll to see which one people wanted. Now, this is the one that people wanted way more than the other one this is dark grey and it's got the sleeve comes to there so you've got hashtag keep it pinned ignore the ion that's just a, like you know team issue for us because we are sponsored by ion dirty rides apparel they're the guys who made it over in northern ireland underneath the arm here it's got amazing venting this is called the air max so this venting runs all the way down there same the other side, obviously. Pinned. Uh, we don't have hashtag keep it pinned on this side. And then we've got all the stuff at the back. Hashtag keep it pinned and the pin TV. So that's um, the one option. This is the one. I'll show you the one we're not going to use because there is part of it that I am going to use. And I'll tell you why. So this is, I'll get them both together. You can see the difference in the grey. So the one I've just tried on, I'll just get the arm out. That's the grey on this one. And then these other ones got a lighter grey, and we much prefer the look of the darker grey. But there is something about this one that I prefer. I'm not sure actually that the pinned might be bigger on this one. If it is, I might get them to do it bigger on that one. Don't wear glasses and try and put a top on at the same time. <laughs> So this one, what I like about this one compared to the other one is three quarter length sleeves, which I actually prefer because if you're wearing elbow pads, it kind of hides them a bit and I never like the look of elbow pads. So I think what I'm going to do with the order when we reach our 50 is I'm going to order that top, but with these sleeves. So um, we're on currently on, I think, uh, 22 and we need 50. So... It's £25 pre-order. Um, we need to reach 50 
because then I can order them um, and get the discount that I need basically need to get uh, as soon as we reach that I can then order them and they'll take then take three weeks so train So yeah, we don't have Patreon at the moment. Uh, all we have is our products, uh, our merchandise. Obviously got all the other merchandise, which I'll link in the description for our website, all the t-shirts, the caps, the hats. It'd be time to get those woolly hats soon. Uh, we've got the stem caps. We've got the black long and short sleeve tops. Um, but I really need you to order these tops, guys. I need the pre-orders here. We need to get to 50, because then I can order them. Basically, in the allotted time, uh, probably about another month, if I don't reach 50, these things are gonna cost me the full amount, maybe a little bit more, that they will cost you in the end. So they will cost me 45 quid, and then I'll have to post them out, so it'll actually cost me money to do it. So that's why I say I need your help on this, because any money I make, from when I reach the 50, we'll be going back in to order more tops. So, dig deep, get a top. Right, next up, big news. Ready for the big news? Here it is. Look who's just come on board, Olin's. So these are mine. These are Todd's. These are for the full bounces. Now, you'll want me to explain why this has come about. Basically, in this game, you try and deal with sponsors and get kit off them for the season, and then when the season ends, with plenty of notice, you sort of get back in touch with them and say, right, have we got support for next year? And quite often, this support is down to where that company's funds are going. So. Cane Creek are basically concentrating on other stuff for next year and this is a very common thing to happen in the bicycle industry so as soon as I got wind that they might not be supporting us next year I was straight on to Olin's I ran Olin's when I worked for Enduro Mag in 2014 2015 something like that and the I had the first set of 36s and the 34s in the country and then the first set of 36s and wow these things are amazing uh, I didn't think they'd say yes but they did so we are we're so lucky this is ridiculous let me show you I haven't even opened this yet it's been here two days these first of all have been sent off to our amazing sponsors JTEC uh, where they have tuned them up for us so we have the pre-tune on these these are for the full suspension there we go so here's mine let's have a look at them so I got the coil with I think these are the 44 mil offset look at that how beautiful these are set at 170 travel uh, like I say JTEC have tuned them for my weight so they've got the coil in um, they are going to be go back in the box and then they're going to be going off to Invisi frame uh, Olin's have sort of chilled out a bit on the corporate attitude and they will let you put different coloured stickers on so this is having different coloured stickers to go with a new frame which I'll tell you about in a minute so this is having uh, metallic gold stickers and it's being wrapped by Invisi frame who haven't actually got the sort of wrap details for these forks yet so that's mine right here we go I just found this so these are the RXF 36 M2 the RXS 36 is the ones I originally have but these are the M2 which I guess just means mark 2 but there uh, the coil is uh, the JTEC this is what comes when you have your forks tuned so it's got name weight fork model bike travel blah 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 what sort of racing riding you do Ooh, advanced enduro racer it's good isn't it let's have a look at Todd shall we right Todd Nees same box the only difference is it says Todd on it 
So these are the RXF 36 Air 2. So these basically look exactly the same, but they're the Air Fork. Obviously these are the uh, 650 ones, they're the 29er ones. Um, these are set at 150 and they've been chewed for him because he's super light, he's like seven stone. And these will be going off also to Invisi Frame and they're gonna have the blue to match his bike. And uh, yeah, we're super excited. So we're also having, he's having the air shock. I'm having the TTX coil shock, you know, with the yellow spring. And we're also having a set of air forks each for our hardtail. So four sets of forks, two rear shocks. How amazing is that? Boom. So finally, I want to talk about what's happening bike wise with me. I'm having a new frame. Now, there's, um, when we originally rode the XL frame that uh, was like a um, test bike, demo bike before I got this, Sonny and I, when we got these, we loved them, but we both thought we preferred the XL. And obviously, I've gone with the, this is the uh, small height, so this is a 15 inch standover. And with this, with this dropper, as you can see, that's a 200 mil PNW dropper and it's out of there like six inches something like that about five inches and I've measured so a large standover will be up to there uh, you know there's kind of no point in that dropper being that far out and also I'm going this is so this is large length small standover I'm going extra large length which is a 500 mil reach and i'm going large standover which is an 18. so look out for this bike this one is going to be seriously tasty on the color wise it's something they haven't done before it's a very new thing and it's going to be very unusual and super bling um invisi frame are going to be getting involved in this with some graphics as well so so I think that's it, that's about it. I will be putting links in the description for any of these products. Probably won't bother with the one for the bike wash until I know it's any good, because I've got no idea. Um, everything else, yeah, it's, it's just fantastic. Please have a look at these race tops. Need your support there. Thanks a lot for watching. Keep it pinned.